Hello everyone, this is a cup versus cup comparison between the Lunette cup and the Ruby cup. And um, I will leave all the links that I mention in this video in the description below so you can find them there. Uh, both of their websites, the Lunette website and the Ruby cup website, do state that they use medical grade silicone. I did not check for certificates, so uh, if you are worried about that or curious about that, you'll have to check those on your own. The silicones feel, feel very similar to the touch, and I'm just kind of rubbing my thumbs over them, and uh, the texture of them feel very similar to each other. Um, the Lunette is from Finland, and the Ruby Cup originally started in Germany, and they have bases in Berlin and Kenya now. So the Lunette has um, five different colors, or they have five different colors, and I have the coral with me today. They also have two different sizes, which is size 1 and size 2. So um, this is the size 2, which is the larger of the two sizes that they carry. The Ruby Cup comes in three different uh, colors. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, this translucent, uh, white, frosted color, and then they have a blue and a pink. But um, I'm not sure if those are limited or if they're going to carry them uh, all the time. And uh, the Ruby Cup only comes in this one size. As for their price points, the Lunette is uh, $39.99 normally, but you can find a lot of sales and discounts on them. Uh, check out their Facebook page. Uh, they do list a lot of sales and giveaways. Uh, the Ruby Cup has uh, two different prices, uh, the approximately $31 or $32. I think it depends on what color that you get. And I do see them um, posting things on their Facebook if there is a discount or um, a giveaway. So do like both of their pages for those updates. So I'm going to pull these pouches that they came with away so that I can just focus on the cups themselves. And starting with the stems, or the lack of stems here, um, as you can see both of these cups uh, don't have their stems anymore. Uh, I did purchase my ruby cup in a D stash and they had uh, taken the stem off all the way uh, before I received it. And uh, if you had seen any of my other lunette or any other video of my lunette, I just recently took the stem off all the way as well. And um, I will leave a picture here of both of these cups with their stems intact. Speaking of the stems, uh, e as you can already tell, they have a really good seal in both of these cups to be able to take the stems completely off and file them down. And you can see that seal right there on the inside of the Ruby Cup and also on the inside of the lunette cup. So if you feel like you need to take the stems all the way off, um, you have uh, a pretty low chance of puncturing into your actual cup. So the grip rings on the lunette, uh, there are three and they are raised quite a bit and I'll bring that up close so that you can see it and it makes quite a bit of sound and I might be getting echo off of my laptop so it might seem like the sound is off right now. Um, they do have an edge there's not a smooth transition on it but it gives a really good gripping area uh, to remove your cup. And the Ruby Cup also has three grip rings here. They are raised, but they have a smooth transition between them all. So it's really nice and smooth, a good um, design for people that might be sensitive to those things. 
And here is the sound. Again, it's probably going to echo. But it gives a muted sound. And um, although they're smooth, it does still give a nice grip when you're trying to remove your cup. These two cups are different shapes. The ruby cup is more of a bell-shaped cup, and the lunette cup is more of a V-shaped cup. So right here you can see that the ruby cup bows out just a bit more than the lunette does. And uh, the bottom of the ruby cup just flares out just a bit. I'll do the bottom so that you can see. So um, I do talk about secondary rims quite a bit in my other videos. And if you hadn't seen any of my other videos, um, when I refer to the secondary rim, I'm talking about this line here. And this area of the cup um, is a transition between the bottom of the cup, the softer part of the cup, to the top rim, which is the most firm part of the actual cup part uh, itself. And so the cup gets a little bit more firm here, and then the firmest part is here. And that just aids in opening some of these cups. Um, because it's a little bit more firm, it uh, can open more, has that resistance for it to open a little bit more. And uh, the ruby cup secondary rim is just a little bit below that top rim so it's it's really high up there and I'll just um, put them up against each other so that you can see how much lower the lunette secondary rim is and I don't know if there's a technical name for that but that's what I call it so both of these cups have holes in the same position they're evenly spaced around the cup and there are four holes so there's a hole here and one in the back and then one on this side well it's a circle but on this side and right across from it and it's the same with the ruby cup um, the lunette holes seem a tad larger than the holes on the ruby cup and I'm going to try to get my um, camera to focus here it's focusing fine on the lunette let me see if I can take that away. And there you go. So it just seems a tad larger on the lunette there. Um, the direction of the holes are straight in either punched, molded, or drilled, but they are straight. There's no diagonal um, direction to them. So the lunette is a tad over two inches, you can see here, in height, and the ruby cup is just about two inches, and you can see right there. And uh, the capacities that they hold, um, the lunette holds, oh, where did my notes go? The lunette holds uh, 30 milliliters to the very top of the rim, so that's the full capacity, 30 milliliters, and that's an ounce. And the ruby cup holds 34 ounces to the very top of the rim there, and that's a little over an ounce. So the ruby cup holds just a bit more. Um, I'm, I'm not sure about uh, the the capacity to the the um, holes, the suction release holes, because the ruby cup holes are lower on its cup than the lunette is. And uh, the diameters around the rim here, I'll go ahead and uh, measure it for you. I don't have them already written in my notes here, so I'm having a hard time looking through the camera <laughs> and trying to measure it. So there was the ruby cup and the lunette. Oh, 
they feel similar when I turn them. Um, so they are pretty similar in that I'm going to switch this because the ruby bag is on my right and I'm going to get confused. So when I place them together, um, if I don't have this right on, they do look a little different, but they are pretty uh, similar in diameter there. So with the markings, uh, the the Ruby Cup does have markings for their measurements and they also have numbers on their cup on both sides. So this side, well it's a circle again, but um, on this side there are measurement lines and numbers as well as this side. And the lunette only has some measurement lines, but there's no numbers. And I, don't, I don't even think they're on the inside. Nope. They're only molded on the outside, right there. Um, speaking of markings, the lunette has a seam that runs all the way down um, one side of the cup, and it goes up and around the stem and then comes down the other side. So there's that seam there. And then they also have a seam that is right on the very top of the rim, and it goes all the way around it, and you can see it here. And the ruby cup, they uh, molded it in one piece at, on the cup itself and then there is a seam right on the rim but on the side of the rim and hopefully you can catch that there. I'm sorry for all the lint and my bad nails. Um, but they, they did pretty well on um, minimizing the seams on the ruby cup. So if you're anything like me, I'm really bad with measure, measurements and I need items that I could see every day or might have on hand to actually get a good idea of how big or how small something is. And I'm going to zoom out just a bit here. Um, I'm not going to use my hand to compare it to because you don't know how big my hands are. So I'm going to bring in a couple items that you might have just laying around your desk as these are laying around my desk. And the first one is my Car Carmex which is a lip balm and it's just a standard size, the regular size um, like Blistex or Chapstick and I'm gonna just place it up against um, each of these cups so that you can see how small or how large uh, they are. And that's the lunette. And here's my ruby cup. And you can hear my dog moving around. She doesn't know where she wants to be. I think she's going to go to my sewing bench. And I'll um, also use a sharpie. And the cups measure almost the same as just the cap alone. So I'm just going to put it up against the cap. And that was the lunette. And that was the room. The last thing I'll do for you is to measure the softness, firmness of the cups to each other. And I'm going to squeeze the bottom of the cups first and then I will also do the rims of the cups. And I like to use the palms of my hands because I feel that it gives a more equal or even amount of pressure than if I was to use my thumbs and um, fingers to press them together. So here's the back of the cups and I'll show you the insides. And here's the inside of the lunette cup. And 
and inside of the ruby cup and you can see that the inside of the ruby cup uh, both sides are touching and not on the lunette and then also the rims of the cup So the lunette cup is a pretty firm cup. I think there's only one other cup that I have on hand that's more firm than it is. And then the ruby cup is more of the medium softness firmness scale. And if you're interested in that video, um, I will link that uh, at the end of this this video. But I do have a comparison between the bottoms or a, a list, as you will, um, of the softest to firmest cup and also the softest to the firmest rim because they're, they're all different. So um, I hope I covered everything. If I forgot something or if you have additional questions, you can leave them in the comments below. Thank you, Jcon3, for asking for this comparison specifically. If you're interested in more menstrual cup information, cup versus cup comparisons, or personal reviews, check out my channel and please don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.